case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2000, the United States District Court for the District of Delaware heard a case, Great Lakes Chemical Corps v. Monsanto Company, which focused on whether a transaction qualified as a security under federal law. The criteria for meeting this qualification include involving an investment of money and a common enterprise, making it subject to federal securities laws. Great Lakes Chemical Corporation filed a lawsuit against Monsanto Company and its subsidiary Sweet Technologies, Inc., alleging violations of securities laws, fraud, and breach of contract involving the sale of NSC Technologies Company, LLC. According to Great Lakes, Monsanto failed to disclose material information during negotiations, leading to diminished sales for NSC. The defendants filed a motion to dismiss, arguing that the interests sold to Great Lakes were not securities. The court needed to determine whether the interest in NSC sold under the purchase agreement met the criteria to be considered securities under federal law. Ultimately, the court concluded that the interest in NSC transferred under the purchase agreement did not qualify as securities under federal law. As a result, the court granted the defendant's motion to dismiss count one of Great Lakes' complaint and dismissed all remaining counts since the defendant's motion to dismiss the sole federal law claim was granted. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.